Hey everybody, welcome to A Bit of Advice. We have a special guest today who has been in marketing for 30 plus years and is an expert. So if you're an entrepreneur looking to further your marketing, this is the guy for you, for sure. So we're going to be getting some advice from him and learn a little bit about marketing today. So I'll introduce him and let him tell you a little bit more about himself. Hank, how are you doing today? Oh, spectacular, Joshua. Hey, thanks for having me on. By the way, um, you might hear a, a loud meow because one of our cats just jumped onto the, onto the chair next to me. No worries. So if, if you hear that, don't just understand it's, it, it is a cat. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it's not your stomach. Your stomach doesn't make that noise. Well, she's you know she we just got her. We've only had her about a week, so she's she's getting acclimated. Wow. Uh, so I'm loud and loud because one of our cats just jumped on the, on the chair next to me. Mm -hmm. She she hasn't learned the um, when Hank or Sharon are on Skype, you don't make noise. She hasn't learned the rule yet. Oh, she doesn't know any different. She doesn't know any different. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, let's see. Uh, my wife Sharon and I uh, own a company called Uloft Creative Marketing Solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, we are we're business coaches. If you if you want to put us into a box, and and we specialize in uh, sales, marketing, and human resources because Sharon's background was 15 years in HR, and she figured out that uh, HR is really just internal marketing. And so what I HR can't. Stand for? Human resources. Okay, just in case anybody didn't know that. Sorry about that. You it know, my I bad. Know. I really Sorry. should have explained that. Sorry, I didn't uh, know. <laughs> and sales stands for sales. And uh, what we do is, as as business coaches, we start with uh, who does somebody want as their target market, and when we figure out who who's going to make them the most money and the most profitable, and who they want to play with, then we put together their marketing plan. It's it's kind of like a path. Mm -hmm. And we act as their chief marketing officer for a year, teach them how to market their business, and teach them how to do how to do marketing the right way. So, that that's what we do. So, in your seminars, there are three ways to get more business. Uh, so, what what do you say those are? Well, you, you you can either sell more stuff to the same people, you can sell different people the same stuff, or you can look for new customers. And the, the challenge is that. Most of us spend most of our time just looking for new business as opposed to expanding vertically and being able to sell more stuff. You were telling me that that in your business you do you can do windows and fix screens and all and and take and care of everything on the outside. Right. Well, if you're if you're starting with their screen, then of course you're going to do their windows, and then you could even do their cars, and then you could right. even yeah, you know, and just expand from there. Exactly, that's the way so, I'm, I've done too. We're, we're also doing lawn care and washing cars, and pretty much you know anything that that can't be done by you know the 55 plus community mainly is what we're really trying to go out and, and help right now because they don't have somebody there, you know, to help them. Nor so, do we want to. <laughs> So what is the very uh, if, first if, thing? If you look, if you look above me, here, go like that. If you look above me, you see uh, twenty-something foot ceilings. Oh yeah. I'm not climbing up there to fix <laughs> the, to to clean them. Oh yeah, I know. You, I will. I sure will. You best believe that. So what is the first thing a company should do when planning to market their company? Okay, first thing, uh, begin with the end of the mind. Where do you want to be? And Look at the demographics of your customers, uh, age, geography, sex, income, occupation, education. Those are the big six. If you can figure out that the people that you want to play with the most fit into certain demographics, uh, then you're able to create messages that are going to fit the right people all the time. Uh, and make sure, and for God's sake, make sure that you're following up when somebody gives you a lead. Yeah, I know. I know. And sometimes you have so many leads. So what do you do if you have so many leads just coming in left and right, like people are messaging you, you're actually not having to find the work, people are messaging you. What do you do when you get overwhelmed? Hire more people. Hire more. Hire <laughs> so what do you hire, like an accountant? Like what, what, what do you hire? Who do you hire? It, it, it depends on the, on the, on the company. Now, for, for us, uh, we definitely know that we have a limit. Um, if you get to a point where you are completely limited out, uh, here's the secret: raise your prices. Yeah. Because at some point, you know, all your economics teachers will teach you. 
at some point, as your price goes up, you are going to lose some clients, but you're going to be making more revenue with fewer clients. Right. Oh, that makes sense. So, and it's, it's less work. More absolutely. Work. So if you are totally overwhelmed with business, you're probably your prices are probably too low. That that has happened to us. It's happening to me right now, as a matter of fact. But uh, well, it, ha it, ha it happens. But I'm, uh, you know, it's it's a blessing when that happens. When you're a young entrepreneur and you're trying to, you know, create your own business and you're trying to think something, you fail so many times, and then you finally get that one thing that sticks. And then you're like, oh my gosh, this worked. And then you're, and then you're good at it, and so it, it works out really well, and just seems like the universe starts to work, work for you. So in marketing, you know that is key to the success of your business because marketing is basically how you present your business, how you present yourself, and get it out there. And and what are you, what kind of service or what what kind of sales are you selling? And it's just so well, we, interesting. So you went to college for that, right? Where did you go to college? San Diego State. That's right. You just told me that earlier, but just for the viewers. I know. No, that's all right. They, everybody else wasn't listening to our conversation. Yeah, I know. And I was just making sure. Totally cool. Because I know In I fact, you guys earlier. should have heard what Josh was talking about earlier. <laughs> Man, you have to get to know him. You have to get on a show just so you can talk to him earlier. He's an amazing guy. <laughs> I just had the best 10-minute conversation before we came on. Yeah. You, you really need to do that. Yeah, that, that's the whole point, man. we got to have the, you know, the pre-show. And I don't ever Absolutely. know. Sometimes it might be recording. So I'm always like, man, there might be somebody watching because it's always creepy to know, like, you know, somebody could be watching. They could have hacked in just to see the show before the show. So, you, you know, never just know who's watching. we just did our radio show just before I came on for this one. So we, we just finished our own radio show and it was like, OK, switch, switch where we had to go. Sharon had to go on an appointment. So I switched places because we, we have a studio kind of like yours in, in at our house. Uh, but I wanted to have pretty mountains behind me for this. Oh, yeah. No, it definitely. I thought it was a picture. And then I seen the trees moving and I was like, how how, how does he does he? And then I was like, no, that's got to be a huge window. And then you walk next to it. And I was like, wow, that's a big window. Yeah, we're we're in Sedona, Arizona and found an amazing house where clients come work with us. So we knew we knew with our lifestyle uh, what we wanted to do. We wanted to work with with entrepreneurs. They come and work with us for a few days at a time. And we put their whole plan together. And we had visited Sedona a few times and thought, man, that would be a great place to live and have people come work with us. So that's that's what we do. So how is the weather in Arizona? Uh, well, Sedona is at 4,500 feet. So when you think of Phoenix getting 120 degrees, take about 25 degrees off of that. Okay. Because we're at 4,500 feet and Phoenix is like hell. <laughs> and then Flagstaff, Flagstaff is another couple thousand feet above us. Uh -huh. So they'll get 30 inches of snow in a day. Wow. And I get a little bit that melts real wow. fast. So it, we're, we're in the perfect part of the state. Yeah, it sounds like you are. So um, back to back to the for entrepreneurs, what are some mistakes that people make in marketing? Like, what are some common uh, mistakes? You know, um, tell you, let, me, let me give you three. Okay. Uh, first is consistency. A lot of people say, okay, well, I, I did that social media post. I'm done. Or I sent out that mailer. That was great. And they're not consistently doing all the things that it takes to market their business. Uh, and, and also another one is that they're not using enough strategies right. to market their business. You should be using five to ten at least ways of marketing your business. Uh, we're in, a, we're in a, a networking group. We're members of a bunch of chambers. We do email marketing. We do, you know, we have sales funnels on the internet, you know, for that bring people to our website. We do, and we, we speak in public. We will, you know, we're, we're on stage every month somewhere talking to entrepreneurs about how to market their business and sharing a lot of secrets and, on how to do that. So you should be marketing your business a lot of different ways, and most people don't. Um, a third one, you know, they're, they're, everybody's looking for that magic bullet, that silver bullet. Right. Uh, and here, the hint is there is no one silver bullet. Not every marketing tactic works every time. Uh, a lot of people think, you know, social media is the magic bullet. And, you know, it's great, but it it, it's be. not. The, but, yeah, but it's not the, the be all and end all. So if you so don't there's quality things. work, social media can't help you. Um, Absolutely, I mean, and because they're because they're gonna they're just gonna eat you alive on social media. I mean, that's one thing I've learned out here. You know, social media does help, 
but you don't have to put all your focus and money into social media. You can actually just post here and there on regular, you know, community talks, you know, and things like yes. that and just get people to know who you are mainly. Absolutely. And and like you said, networking meetings. I've done that and that that has helped. That that's how I got here, you know, like here Absolutely. to this place here right now. I went to a networking meeting and and I told him I like to do music and then one thing led to another and here I am, you know, and it's it's crazy how much opportunity that you can get by actually going out and not being afraid and, and conquering the fear and getting over that and just going out and doing it. You know, I feel like a lot of people don't take the initiative to just go out and, you know, do it. They they have a good idea, but they can't physically do it, you know. Yeah. But, but I'll tell you something. If, if, if you walked into our networking group, said you did Windows, you would be at our house that day. <laughs> Well, and that happens. So I, I'm I'm still getting in there. I've went to a couple of realtor meetings. That has helped uh, in my industry. I felt like that would be good because they're always trying to get their windows clean before house showing. So that's wow. that has really helped me a lot. Um, but what what how has marketing changed in the last decade? Like last ten years? Jeez, you know, a, a tremendous amount. Um, you know, you've seen. You've seen yellow pages very much disappear. By the way, yellow pages were this big book that, <laughs> that your parents used to put you used to use as a. They used to have that yeah. in Alabama. <laughs> yeah, uh, they've disappeared. Uh, a lot of people have have misconstrued and thought direct mail has gone away, but it hasn't, and that's a, an opportunity. Email marketing has changed tremendously uh, Does because Does email well, marketing work. Uh, you know, email marketing, if you have the right list, mm -hmm. that's the hard part. Uh, email marketing and direct mail will both get that magic half between a half and one and a half percent result. So if you have a great list, yeah, it can still work. But remember, you just like um, you don't want to be sold to all the time. So the care and feeding of your list is such that if you're email marketing, make sure you're giving them a lot of good information. Uh, remember, you're living in a Google world and they can get whatever information you, they need. They, you can find it on Google. So give them a lot of great info. Our mailing list gets, you know, they get our, our, our blog. They get a whole bunch of marketing tips all the time. And yeah, sometimes we're going to we're gonna say, hey, we have something to sell you. You know, our, our marketing boot camp is coming. Why don't you get a, a you know, get a ticket for it? Uh, or we're launching a new book. Why don't you go uh, go to Amazon, get it for a dollar? So how you react to your list uh, makes it stronger so that when you, you actually want to sell them something, uh, it helps. Uh, the Internet is has definitely changed the way we market oh, things yeah. in the last year. Yeah. You know, in, in the last six months, sometimes. Heck. You have to watch social media quite often because uh, that changes almost day to day. Yeah. You know, there was a, a you know, shoot, I'm trying to remember what product it was. There was a really good uh, social media pro product that was coming out, and they got to about 300,000 users, and all of a sudden it disappeared. And we we're like, doggone it, because it was great. Yeah. Uh, so you have to always make sure you're down, you're you're backing up all your social media sites because they could go away. So it, the best starting out uh, is the best option to try to do everything yourself or like starting out well, marketing. Do you have like a beginner, a intermediate and like an expert? You know what I mean? Like, do you have packages yeah. for for different people? You know, um, actually, we do. Uh, if if somebody is, is starting out and they, and they want to they want a complete marketing plan, they can go to uh, the small business marketing plan dot com. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is is put together dozens of hours of video help with an action guide so they can put their whole marketing plan together. Uh, there are a lot of people that start now, they, they frankly they can't afford a chief marketing officer, you know, that Sharon and I are. Are Yes, there we go. So what's I R I am she we are. There we go. Had to had to you know, I wasn't an English major. Uh, but that's a that's a program where somebody can get their get their feet wet with it, and then the the thousand dollars or so they spend on that, they can apply toward working with us when they they want to take that next step. I got you. So what's the best way to promote your company? Uh, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it, it it depends on the company, Josh. Yeah. Um, you know, you have like an online business. I can see where you did. 
well, I guess you'd have to sit in front of the computer more, you know, like. <laughs> well, let's see. We have a, we have a, um, let's see how I can do this. Okay. We have a magician client. Right. Yeah, you were talking about this earlier, but nobody knew yeah, that, right? Yeah, frankly, okay. uh, okay. Glendolph the Magician. Okay. I'm going to make sure he listens to this. It's Glendolph, two ends, the magician. Okay. Uh, I had to look he, has a, up. he has a thing for businesses that he calls the magical quickie. Uh oh. Where he will go to uh, someone's office or lunch meeting and do three or four tricks and build their sales message in so you can impress a client. Okay, so he markets himself. He's going to do quite a bit of, of phone cold calling just to get in the door. Uh, plus, he'll he'll do a lot of in it. he'll be the the passing magician, you know, dirt for a lot of events, and that's how people get to know him. But you and I can't pull a rabbit out of the hat, right? <laughs> so for us to to go and impress people by doing a couple of magic tr tricks isn't what's going to work. Okay, right. now I have a cat that's hissing because I have two cats that are right down. <laughs> there. Okay, you take off, go. There we go. <laughs> It's like children, man. I know. I have two pit bulls, so you can imagine how that goes. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, it, so it really does depend on the company on, on what you're going to do to start. You know, if you're if you're a small business and, and listening to this, I'm telling you, you should go check out your local chamber of commerce and get to know a lot of other small businesses in the area because it's it's a great inexpensive way to network. No. Um, It'll cost you about a thousand dollars a year, like three hundred bucks to join, twenty bucks a month to go to their 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 um, day monthly lunch, and then you've got another two or three hundred dollars where you can sponsor some event where you get to speak in front of the crowd. And you will make money off of this. So I know you just spent. Oh gosh, <laughs> you'll make a ton of money yeah. off something like that. For we, sure. We own a promotional product business, and honestly, I've built the business by being a member of three or four different chambers. So that's if you're starting out, that's a, a, an inexpensive way to do it, but make sure you do show up. Yeah, um, exactly. You and, have to be and, there. And, and you know what? If you're a new business owner or, or an experienced one, if you want a lot of help, um, here's two ways you can get a whole bunch of free marketing help. Go to go listen to our radio show. It's themarketingchecklist.com, and we've done... There's 177 shows on there. Uh, so there's there's 177 hours of, of free wow. help there. I'm going to have to check that out. And, and you can also go to our blog with you off Creative, and we have a marketing blog that's updated uh, every week or so with, with different marketing tips. So there's a whole bunch of free stuff for you. Awesome. Was there anything that, that entrepreneurs need to know that they need to be aware of? Anything that they need to be cautious about? Um, as they're on their journey, um, yeah. any scams or anything like that? Okay, I won't call it a scam, okay. um, but I think I think most people that do search engine that they charge you a couple thousand dollars a month for search engine optimization are not worth the a dime. Huh. Um, I would be really wary of that. Okay. If, for example, if, if if I say Josh, I can put you on the front page. Of Google, so that anybody that's searching for Joshua Bird Cell will find it. Right. Well, that's a bunch of crap. Yeah, exactly. Because if somebody's searching for Joshua Bird Cell, they don't need any optimization you know, to be able to find you. It's so funny you say that because I've been getting those. I have my own music business back home, uh, and they they would call and they would say, "Hey, we can put positive entertainment on." Google, it'll be the first thing somebody when they search music studio, and then I'm like, but I don't even know you, and how are you? How is that even possible? Like, how you're with Tell Google you, and you're you calling give, me? You, feel free to give them my phone number. I have a few things to say. <laughs> well, uh, I, I know I know two or three SEO people problem. that are worth that are worth their weight, and the rest of them aren't. Yeah, I think I um, think what I've learned is just be patient. You know, like be patient yeah. and, and, and 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 just strategize. You know. And and watch for sh bright shiny objects. There are an awful lot of people that are selling an awful lot of marketing tactics that they make commission if you buy. Right. So every of course every business that you know their marketing tactic is right. So star if if they use the words it really gets your name out there. Okay, that's a no. <laughs> If someone, if that's the best benefit they have for their product, you know, you're letting me get on my soapbox here. Um, if the best thing they can say is it gets your name out there, then politely say no and and hand them my card and tell them they need to have a chat with me about how they sell their product. Because uh, 
getting your name out is just not good enough. Oh, no, no, no. So look for of... all the bright, shiny objects. When, when you work with us, uh, one of the first things we do is we go through, okay, show us everything you've done, all the things you're doing. Let's find all the bright, shiny objects that you're paying for that, that aren't worth a darn. So how do you go through the process of when, when, you go, when you're going to help an entrepreneur? Like, what's the process that you go through? You know, we, we want to see, you know, every one of us that's in business, we all have competitors. Mm -hmm. You know, there are other people that, that do windows and cleaning like you, and there are right. other people that do marketing. What we want to do is find out what makes them unique, because every business does have those unique features. Uh, normally, you would, you'd have Sharon and I both here, because we work together and, and we work as a team so that when when you work with us you have two minds that are figuring it all out for you instead of one person and it also allows Sharon and I to be experts on a, on a lot wider field of things that our clients need I'm not a human resources expert Sharon is right. uh, Sharon's not really a messaging expert and I am right. so between the two of us we are able to bring our clients a whole lot so what makes you different what makes you, uh, what Dan Kennedy calls a, a category of one? Uh, what can you do? You've got to be doing things that sets you that set you apart. Um, do you donate a portion of your proceeds, proceeds um, to a particular nonprofit? Uh, do you have, if you're a dentist, are you not just a dentist, but you're, you're an endo dentist that does, you know, specific, one specific thing. Right. The more you can niche yourself the more successful you're going to be. That's really good advice. So what would you say would be your golden nugget? We're coming up on about seven minutes before okay. we're off, off air. So what would you say is the best advice that you can give for a young entrepreneur? And um, what, what, what can you tell them is the right path to go down? And what was the, is, is the best advice that you have for them? You know, if, if you're an entrepreneur, just, man, you're what, 27? Yes, sir. Hot damn, that's awesome. 27 you know, years old. If you, have, if you have figured out that working for somebody else is not the right way to go, then I want to congratulate you, that, first that, of all, for like, that. that that's, you just, you took the words out of my mouth. Like, man. literally took the words out of my mouth. Like, you have no idea. <sighs> It's like it, it's congratulations. Um, we don't have enough time for me to go into my story. Just right. know that it took me a little while to get there. Right. And it took my mom telling my dad to write me a check so I could buy a new fax machine so I could start my business. It, 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 whatever it takes to to get started and don't quit and understand you're you're gonna come up against roadblocks, but that's okay. That's how you get better. Right. And, and put together a team of advisors, your banker, your insurance guy, um, find a, a lawyer that, that's on your side, your parents, some of your clients. Find a team of advisors, and it could be a competitor in your own business that, you're willing, that you guys are willing to share secrets because you're, you're, you don't share clients. Right. But put together your team of, of advisors. They're going to help you through the rough times. Awesome. Man, that is great advice. And I feel like you're almost kind of hitting home today because everything that you said, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm, on, I'm speaking for entrepreneurs, but I am an entrepreneur as well. So like when I have yeah. my own business and I'm like, man, this really hits home. And I'm, I'm glad that, you know, I'm able to, to do this show. It's really, I've learned so much. I mean, it's somebody new every week. And I mean, everybody has been so awesome and you're awesome on here. I appreciate you giving us cool. the time today. <laughs> So tell us, how can we reach you? Like, if we can need to contact you, give us all your information. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, fastest way is the website, Uloff, Y-U-L-O-F-F. -F. I know. Blame my parents. Uh, Uloff Creative. Um, if you want a half hour of free time from Sharon and I, uh, just go to freemarketingconsultation.com. What are you going to get? Does this count? A free Oh, sorry? Is no, this, this doesn't count. Oh, okay. Because I need my whole half hour. I was just making sure. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but if you want a free marketing consultation, you go to freemarketingconsultation.com. Kind of simple, huh? Okay, I got uh, it. And, and you can get, you'll get, you, you take a short survey and you get us, you'll get us on the phone. You'll write into our calendar for a half hour. Awesome. So, and, yeah. go ahead. 
No, you first. It's your show. So that, so that's what I was saying. Like, what, what all does that consist of? Like, whenever you said we, we're going, we're going to call you. So it, did you and your wife and y'all come up with a plan for a small business or? Well, you know, what we do is we take a look at your assessment and we promise that we're going to give you a couple of breakthroughs. Our job is to help you out enough, honestly, that you want to, you want a little bit more information from us. Okay. And we, we always are able to couple, come up with a couple of things that are going to help people. We, we know we are. Uh, we've, we've done dozens and dozens of calls, and we've never had somebody that, you know, can't help you. <laughs> no, that, that, that's, that's not good, especially for marketing, man. You could do any, anything, anybody's business. Well, you can have fun. So we, that's one of the best things for our business is we get to work with a lot of different people. Oh, yeah. That's always good because you always can learn from everyone. So what's your number, your telephone and your email? Uh, you know, let's see. The phone number is 800-705-HANK. That's pretty easy uh, to remember. i got to do that. I get a 1-800 number? Well, yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you're going to use, if you the numbers are 4265, so every time I give out 705-HANK, it's 4265. You don't want to piece, piss people off. <laughs> you want to find 1-800-WINDOW-CLEANER or something. That would be a great, that would oh, be a great man. phone number for you. That's a good idea. So, uh, tell you what, if if uh, if anyone, um, if you go to the marketing consultation, free marketing consultation, and tell us you heard heard about us from Joshua, um, we'll give you a couple of our marketing books free too. Oh, that's awesome! I know. Our Just cause our, our listeners would love that. Uh, that's well, this sure. is see, and this is how I can tell how it works. Right. All they have to do is say, "Hey, I heard you on you know J you and Joshua talking." Uh, so do I get the books? And the answer is yes, you do. You get a couple of our books for free. That's awesome. So. I so this is getting your name out there. I was just letting you know, you know, getting your name out there. <laughs> no, this is this is specific targeted marketing to entrepreneurs who need our help. Yes, yes, it and, is. And, and what we do is, you know, we we work for you, we create for you, we figure it all out for you. That's our whole job. And that's awesome, man. I really appreciate your time today. I can't wait to to get in contact with you after this and i'm gonna write down all your information after the show because i i need to get in touch with you myself because i need some advice on some things going on you know i'm from alabama and it's just kind of me and my wife out here and i just got my my little cousin nick out here and he he flew out about four days ago and so far he is loving it out here he's got a burnt neck from the sun so he's <laughs> Tell you what, i'm gonna i'm gonna see if you if you're able to take massive action okay okay go ahead Tell you what, if you Specifically, Joshua Brutzel. Okay. If you go to freemarketingconsultation.com in the next 48 hours. Hold on, let me write that down so everybody can see I'm writing it down. Oh, good work. Good, good God, man. All right, go ahead. Free go marketing ahead. consultation. Free marketing. If you do that, you, in the next 48 hours, and pick it and get into our calendar, um, I'm going to give you two tickets, two free tickets to our next marketing boot camp in Los Angeles. Awesome. So, free marketing consultation. Yep, dot com. Dot com. If I see your name pop up, you get two free tickets to our next marketing boot camp. Okay, and so what do I need to do when I go to that website? Follow directions. Follow directions. <laughs> I'm going to need to write that down because I'm not good at that. <laughs> and, and if anyone else wants info on, on the boot camp, um, it's themarketingevent.com. You can find out about our boot camps. It's two and a half days, no sit-ups, no push-ups. <laughs> Uh, but you come away with a really amazing marketing plan. Man, I'm definitely going to take it. So I have to come to Arizona to get all this treatment? Well, you could, or you can go to L.A., your call. Uh, or L.A., ooh, I don't know. I might, Arizona, almost. Yeah, <laughs> see? <laughs> Look back there, man. Oh, Red man, I know. It's beautiful. And I love hiking, too, so it looks like I could go hiking in your backyard. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, all right, man. Well, that concludes our show for today. I want to tell you, thank you so much for your time, Hank. You have been Heck awesome. Yeah. And it has been a blessing to be able to talk to you. And we thank all of our listeners, all of our viewers. And as you know, the show will be up on YouTube after this. And it also will be up on Facebook and our page. And it will be the edited version. It will have a whole bio on our guest. So you'll get to know him a little bit better as well. So thank you all for tuning in. And y'all have a blessed week. I'll see you next Tuesday with another guest on A Bit of Advice.